We're going to add fractions. But the first type of fractions we add are going to be very special type of fractions known as like fractions. Okay. You know what like fractions are? They're, yeah, they're fractions that have what? Good, the same denominator. Sorry, running out of space there. I hate when it's th that close. So for example, take a look at these two fractions. 3 over 7 and 2 over 7. These are what? These are like fractions. OK, tell me if you agree with this. What about 4 over 3 and 2 over 3? Are those like fractions? How do you know? They have the same denominator. The denominator is the number on the bottom. It has to be the same. How about this? 2 over x and 11 over x. <laughs> Are those like? I thought. Yeah, they have to have the same what? Denominator. Denominator. So they're also like. Is that true? Yeah. OK. So does anybody know what happens when you add like fractions? How do you add them? Do you remember? There's a format that you use, but you know, would you guys know where it comes from? Does anybody here like candy bars? That, again, represents a what? A whole. Is that true? That's yeah, a whole. Did you guys notice how do candy bars kind of look? Don't they come in like pieces like this? They come in like pieces like this? That's a whole candy bar. It comes in like these pieces. <coughs> Maybe what? OK. Someone gives you these two pieces out of the four. Is that right? Doesn't this represent two-fourths, two pieces out of the four? So someone gives you those two pieces. Is that true? Yes. Remember, the whole candy bar is a whole. But very often, it comes in these pieces that you break off. So you got two-fourths. OK? So maybe this is what your brother gives you. Who's nicer, your brother or your sister? <laughs> huh? Your sister's nicer than your brother? Who's more likely to share their candy bars with you? Sorry. Who's more likely to share the candy bar, your brother or your sister? Who? Your brother? All right, well, let's see. Who knows? What does this represent of the whole candy bar? One fourth. You guys okay with that? So I don't know. Let's say your brother gives you two pieces out of the four. Your sister gives you one piece out of the four. Can you guys tell me? How much candy bar do you have? Do you have a whole candy bar? No. No, you don't. What do you have? Isn't it true you have what? I would say you have out of four pieces. What, what, what do you really have? You have three out of the four what? Pieces of a candy bar. See what I'm saying? So you get the two-fourths, someone else gives you one-fourth of a candy bar. What do you have total? Three-fourths of a candy bar. What do you guys notice you did here when you had these two like fractions? What did you do? What kind of arithmetic did you really do? You added what? You added the shaded pieces. You added the numerators. Is that true? And what did you keep? The denominator of being four. So. Visually, if you wanted, you know, to visualize something, I guess what you can say, I'll put it over here, is that, I don't know, let's write 
triangle over a square plus happy face over a square. Ah, let's put it over here. Sorry, I hate when I do this. Triangle over the square plus your happy face over square. Isn't this two um, like fractions? Mm -hmm. So what you can do is keep your denominator, the four, and take your triangle and add it with your what? Happy face. Happy face. And did you guys know that subtraction works what? Same way. Same way. Right, you guys remember this, right? Okay, you guys remember all these here? Okay, good. So let's see some examples. So for example, <coughs> two elevenths plus four elevenths, what does that give you? Six what? Elevenths, is that true? Because two plus four is what? Six, good. Okay, what if they said this? Two elevenths minus four elevenths, what does that give you? Isn't that two minus four over what? 11, is that true? Okay. So, let's see. What is uh, two minus four? Everybody know, what is, what is two minus four? Huh? Is it positive two or negative two? Negative. You sure? Yes. Okay, does it matter? Absolutely. Um, okay, good. You guys know that's negative two? Because that's important. You know, that's really important. Do you guys ever pay any bills? What's two minus four? Isn't this two plus a negative four value? Right? In my Math 112 class or Math 110, whatever it is. I actually tell students there's no such thing as subtraction. It's addition of a what? Negative. Of a negative. Um, the reason I say that to people is because everybody should know what it's like. You guys are adults. You know what it's like to pay bills. Okay. You see this positive 2 value? That represents money you have. You see this negative 4? That's money you what? Owe. You owe. So if you had $2 but yet you owed $4, What's the story? You still owe what? You will still owe two dollars, and that's how you got the numerator. So you're right, it's negative two over 11. You're right. Okay, good, I just wanna double check because you know, there are people, I have taught the course 115, there are some people in the room that sometimes are not sure what two minus four or four minus two is. They're a little confused with that. Okay, and it actually has to do with paying money, right? Having bills, all your bills are negative, you know? The, what you get paid is positive. So if you look in the bank and your, you know, your balance has a negative number, what does that mean? It means you owe, right? Does anybody see a negative value in their balance? No, you guys have never had that experience? I'm the only one? I'm the only one that sees a negative figure. Eddie, you ever see a negative figure in your account? Exactly. Exactly. Five minutes? Yeah, exactly. 